Welcome to my engineering drawing playlist. Today, I will be explaining rectangle method for the parabola. In the last video, we have discussed the different methods of the ellipse. Now, it's done for the parabola. So, so far, we have discussed about the different methods of the ellipse. Now, it's done for the different methods of parabola. So, let's start with the different methods for the parabola. But before that, look at the concept of the parabola. The path of the ball, that is actually parabola. Now, there are different methods. First, rectangle method, that is also known as the oblong method. Then, second one is a parallelogram method, that is also known as a parabola in parallelogram. Next, tangent method. And at last, direct is focus method, that is also known as a general method as well as eccentricity method. Now once again, here you can see this is the parabola that is actually the path of the ball and this path that means the parabola is generally specified with the horizontal distance covered by the ball and vertical distance covered by the ball. So this is called as the base and this is called as the height of the parabola. Now, let's start with the problem description for the rectangle method. A ball thrown in air attains 85 meter height and covers a horizontal distance of 120 meter on ground. Draw the path of the ball. Give the name of the curve. Also draw normal and tangent at any point on the curve. Now, Let's solve the problem step by step. Look at this description. It covers a horizontal distance of 120 meter on the ground. This unit is in meter and definitely you can't accommodate it in your drawing page. And so that you have to decide the scale. And definitely it should be the reduced scale. So here you can take the scale as 1 mm is equal to 1 meter. That means in the drawing, 1 mm represent as 1 meter. And so that you can say RF, that means representative fraction is equal to 1 is to 1000. Now, first of all, draw the horizontal line that is exactly equal to 120 meter. So here you can say 0 to 120. So draw the horizontal line that is exactly equal to 120 mm because of 1 meter that represent as 1 mm in the drawing and so that it will be 120 mm. Now give the name as AB. Now mark the midpoint of this AB line, give the name as 0. Draw the vertical line passing through this 0 point and that is exactly equal to the height that is given to you as 85 meter. So it will be your 85 mm. So mark it over here and give the name as V. So now complete the rectangle with the help of the ruler scale. That's why it is known as the rectangle method. Now divide this distance 0 to A into 4, 5 or 6 equal parts. That depends on you. Here I have divided it into the 6 equal parts. So similarly on this side, 6 equal parts. Next, definitely you have to divide this distance into the 6 equal parts also. And same way here, 6 equal parts. Now, join V1, V2, V3, V4 and V5. Similar way on this side. Now, draw the vertical line passing through this one which will intersect this V1 line at this point, give the name as P1. So now you can understand it should be P2, next P3, next here it is P4 and next here it is P5. In the similar way, you can find the point P1, P2, P3, P4 and P5. Now join all the points by the smooth curve. Definitely it should be passed from A, B and B also. So here keep in mind that this 
cow should be only the dark in the whole drawing because of that is only your objective. Here you can see, draw the path of the ball. So this path of the ball should be the dark only. The remaining work should be as light as possible. Now next question, give the name of the cow. So definitely you know that it is the parabola. So give the name. So this is your second answer. Now third one, draw the normal and tangent at any point on the curve. So now let's take one point on the parabola. Give the name as S where I want to draw the normal and tangent. So first of all, draw the horizontal line passing through this S up to this midline. So you will get the intersection point over here. Give the name as P. Now extend this PV line in the upward direction. Take initially length randomly. Now take the compass, set the radius as VP. Now next, take V as the center. Draw the arc on this side. So you will get the intersection point. Mark it as T. So keep in mind that over here, this VP must be equal to VT. Now join ST, so that will give you as a tangent. And perpendicular to this tangent, that will give you as a normal. And that definitely you can do with the help of the scale. So this is your final answer, normal and tangent at any point on the curve. So it is really very simple problem. Only the important point is this one. You have to take the scale. At last, what is RF that I have written over here? If scale 1 mm is equal to 1 centimeter. Write your answer in the comment box. Thanks my dear friend for watching this video. Press the like button to appreciate it.